Hi, I'm Anne, and I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator with Pro Musica Chamber Orchestra. This is Stephanie, and she is a French horn player with Pro Musica. Today is our virtual musical story time. Me, Stephanie, you and your grown-up are going to have so much fun today. First, we're going to sing a song, and then I'm going to introduce the letter of the day. After that, Stephanie will present a show and tell about her French horn. Finally, we are going to read a fantastic story called Hooray for Hat. I'm ready to start, are you? Stephanie and her horn are going to join us for our sing-along song, If You're Happy and You Know It. We are going to clap our hands, we're going to wiggle and shake, and then we're going to shout, hooray! <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good, now we are going to wiggle and shake. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle and shake. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle and shake. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle and shake. Now we are going to shout hooray! <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! What a great job singing! Give your grown-up a high five. Now give yourself a high five. Our letter of the day is H. This is the capital H. This is the lowercase h. To write a capital H, you draw one line down, two lines down, and then you connect those two lines in the middle, right there. And then to draw the lowercase h, you draw one line down, and then you make a hump. H makes the h, h sound. Can you try? Good job. I'm going to show you a couple of things that start with H. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's my head. Can you point to your head? Yep, it starts with H. Head, H. What goes on top of a head? Could it be something like a hat? Hat starts with H. Hat. Finally, I'm going to show you a picture. Do you know what this is? This is called a French horn. Horn starts with H. Horn. But why show you a picture when we had the real thing? I'm going to turn it over to Stephanie so she can show off her heroic horn. Hey everybody, I'm Stephanie and I play horn with Pro Musica. And today I'd love to tell you more about my instrument, the horn. You'll see that it looks pretty shiny and that's because it's made out of a metal called brass. And it's part of the brass family of instruments. And I have to do something kind of silly to make the sound on my instrument. I have to buzz my lips like this. <laughs> Makes kind of a silly sound. But then I have a little mouthpiece. You can see it. There are different brass instruments have different sizes of mouthpieces. Mine's kind of small. And when I buzz into the mouthpiece, it sounds like this. <laughs> Still kind of silly. But then when I put it into the instrument, it can make lots of pretty sounds. 
Now you'll also see on my left hand here, I've got these buttons, they're called valves, and when I push them down, I can play different notes. If I play without the valves, I can't quite get all the notes and play a real song. It sounds like this. I can only get that set of notes, but if I want to play a real song, I use the buttons, and that makes the tubing on the horn longer, which goes lower, or shorter, which goes higher. So the horn can play lots of cool things. A lot of times the horn is a hero. They represent a hero. And that happens a lot in movies and also in opera. And there's a special hero in an opera. His name is Siegfried, and the horn gets to play the hero. It sounds like this. so much for sharing about your horn, Stephanie. Stephanie is now going to accompany our book today, which is a story called Hooray for Hat by Brian One. When Elephant woke up, he was very grumpy. <laughs> The doorbell rang. Elephant stomped down the stairs. Go away, I'm grumpy. There was a present on the doorstep. Elephant unwrapped the box. <gasps> it was hard to stay grumpy now. Hooray for hat, Elephant cheered. I will show Zebra. Did you recognize the tune? But Zebra did not want to look at any hats. Go away, I'm grumpy. <laughs> So Elephant gave Zebra a hat. Zebra smiled. They both cheered. Hooray for hat. Let's show Turtle. But Turtle would not come out of his shell. Go away, I'm grumpy. Hmm. Elephant gave Turtle a hat too. Turtle smiled. They all cheered. Hooray for hat. Let's show Owl. But Owl did not want to see them or their hats. Go away, I'm grumpy. <laughs> Elephant gave Owl a hat too. Owl smiled. They all cheered. Hoo, hoo, hooray for hat. Elephant, zebra, 
turtle, and owl march down the road to show lion. Hooray for hat! <laughs> But Lion did not want any visitors. Go away, I'm grumpy. Hmm. Elephant gave Lion a hat too, but Lion was still sad. I love this hat but I can't cheer while our friend Giraffe is not feeling well. What can we do? <laughs> hmm. What are they gonna do? So Elephant, Zebra, Turtle, Owl, and Lion made a surprise for Giraffe. <laughs> They all marched to Giraffe's home. On the way, Lion started to feel better. And soon... <gasps> Giraffe felt better too! Hooray for friends! Wow, what a fun book! Hooray for Hat by Brian Wan. What a happy story! Stephanie and I loved spending some time with you today. Have a musical H-filled day. Maybe you'll get to play with a toy horse or spend some time helping with dinner tonight or even listen to a composer named Haydn. Until next time.